What's going on, peeps? I hope everyone's doing well. If it's your first time visiting the channel, we cover the backstories of comic book characters, especially those coming to, or rumored to be coming to, live action. So hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, so you don't miss out on any of your favorite comic book characters' backstories. With that out the way, let's find out who is the Eternal Sprite. So now that Captain Rogers and Iron Man are both gone, who do you think is going to lead the Avengers? Sprite is a member of the godlike race of beings known as Eternals, who were created by the Celestials. Being a member of the Eternal race, Sprite has the power and abilities bestowed upon the race by the Celestials' experimentation. These powers include superhuman strength, durability, reflexes, and flight. Sprite also has the ability to cast illusions, which he has developed to peak potential. Unlike the other Eternals who have grown to adult versions of themselves, Sprite cannot grow and is trapped in the body of an 11-year-old boy. Sprite is the prankster of the Eternals. He has pranked humans and Eternals for centuries. In the 1900s, he pranked the Scottish novelist and playwright J.M. Barry by appearing before him in a public park flying. This ended up inspiring Peter Pan. Sprite always resented that he was stuck inside the body of an 11-year-old and was never taken seriously. He devised a plan to become human, which he slowly initiated. When the fourth host of Celestials was approaching Earth, Sprite found out that the Deviants were planning to try and kill the Celestials with a bomb. All of the Eternals were off with Zurus, forming the Unimind. As a last resort, Sprite coerced the Forgotten One, Gilgamesh, out of his exile, which was mandated by the Prime Eternal Zurus. Gilgamesh was able to stop the bomb and save the Celestials. Sprite had been slowly seeding the other Eternals with false memories over the years as a part of his plan. Sprite manipulated the Dreaming Celestial and tapped into its power and used the power to erase the memories of the Eternals and give them lives as simple humans. Sprite became human, which would allow him to finally grow up. He knew exactly what he wanted. He became a child actor on a show called That's So Sprite. Eventually, the Eternals began to regain their memories and abilities. Zurus tracked down Sprite and asked him if what he had done was worth it. Sprite stood by what he did, saying that it was. He just wanted the chance to grow up. Zurus then snaps Sprite's neck and kills him as punishment. When Sprite is resurrected, Sprite returns in the body of an 11-year-old female. So what do you think of the eternal trickster Sprite? Could Sprite's trickery be the reason the Eternals weren't around to help out in Infinity War and Endgame? Let me know what you think down in the comments. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm gone. Peace.